What's cracking everyone? Today I wanted to simply sit down in front of the camera and talk to you about some things that have been in my mind lately uh, about the audio file and just the audio community in general. So I've been debating whether or not I even wanted to do this because I know I'm going to get a lot of opinions on this, some probably pretty polarizing ones. I may upset some people and that's not my intention. I just wanted to really get some thoughts out. So it's been brewing a little bit for a while with me that I've been wanting to speak out and say something and that, you know, I go on social media and forums, different things online. And I, I've been reading, you know, recently some reviewers or just people that like to listen to audio in general and the gear talking about how things are getting boring. You know, a lot of IMs are starting to sound the same. A lot of these manufacturers are kind of going with the same tuning right towards a curve that they're shooting for. The point of the matter is, is that they're complaining now that things are boring because they're starting to sound the same. Same, by the way, is what a lot of us thought of as good. Now, and I've witnessed this as I've done some reviews recently of IEMs, and I think they've all sounded pretty good, albeit a little bit the same. Well, it's one of those things that really kind of irks me a little bit because I think we created some of that. And what I mean by that is not, not me necessarily. I'm a small channel, you know, Half you guys aren't even going to watch this video for a while, but to a reviewer or to somebody with a strong opinion anyway that wants to post something online, if it deviates from that said curve or measurement that we think is wrong, it gets blasted. Well, I'm sorry. Companies are only going to take that so long before they're like, all right, well, we just need to try to hit this target curve that everybody keeps talking about as close as we can, and that's what they like. I think that's what's going on a lot here. And it is making things boring. And so this is me going to the audio manufacturers for my personal plea and say, create, be different, have fun with it. Let us hear some things that are different. And then by God, people, when you get this to review, let's not slap it down on a piece of paper and just bash the hell out of somebody. Unless it truly sounds like trash. And there are things out there that do, don't get me wrong. And a lot of this, no matter how hard how hard we try to push the objective part of it, it is still super subjective to what people like and what people want to hear or what you think others want to hear. Well, they may like that peak that you don't necessarily like in the treble or that big peak in the bass that you don't like or that mid forwardness or that shoutiness may not be shouty to that person. They may be like, man, this is great. But then the next person down the line is going to say, that measures terribly. What are you thinking? All of a sudden, you're influencing somebody in the wrong way to think, well, I shouldn't like this because it doesn't hit this curve. That's bullshit. And that's the part that's starting to tick me off with all of this. People that are into the science on this, I don't believe that's their true intention by any means. And so that's why I'm not trying to berate them. I'm just trying to get others to understand kind of my point of where I'm coming from. So I get it. There's a general opinion of what people like, and that's the target that we're trying to go towards. That's great. I appreciate the science behind that. I do. I understand it. I think it's important, but I also think it's equally as important for people to form their own damn opinions. And I know it's not always that easy because you can't just go out and listen to whatever you want to. It doesn't work that way. I wish to God it did, but it just doesn't. So, you know, those graphs do become important to be able to read and at least you know, get an idea of what something's going to sound like visually, but it's still not going to take the place of what it sounds like on your head and in your ears. Anyways, so my point to all of this is that I get so many times that I'll read about somebody or somebody even asks me, you know, how can I possibly think this sounds this way or that when it looks like this on a graph? And I just put my head down and shake my head. And half the time I don't comment to that because I know the berating amount of comments that are going to come with that if I do. And that it's just, listen for yourself. Uh, I mean, hearing is very subjective. We all have different hearing. You know, if you listen to something and you like it, like it. And that I really truly believe that we've kind of lost that recently. You know, this, the whole measurements thing really, in my opinion, has kind of blown up in the last couple of years as I started to really get deeper and deeper into audio, especially, uh, it's kind of blown up. And when I first started, I was very intrigued, very interested in anymore. Quite honestly, I see somebody starting to post something about measurements and I just keep scrolling because I want to see what did you actually think of how it sounded. And my point to that is simply, I will visually show you. So I have here 
the HD 560S from Sennheiser. Now this is a headphone that is measured really well and I'll admit sounds really, really good. I'm actually trying to work on a little bit of a kind of review late to the game on this. And then we've got something like this, which is the Meze 99 Classics. Now, if I say the word bass cannon, you know exactly what I mean, but I mean, these got some serious bass to them. Both of these headphones fit into this hobby. I'm telling you this right now. And I guarantee they're both still being bought. You know, if somebody likes the base of that, of the 99 Classics, that's great. If somebody likes the, you know, more natural tuning of the HD 560S, that's great as well. But this is my point is like, neither of these should be taken up against each other on a freaking graph. And you try to tell me that I'm wrong because this one measures with this big bump here and sounds like crap. Maybe it does to you. Let's stop trying to hold everything to a curve. And the ones that do it right, and there are many out there that do, they will tell you that at the beginning as well. This is just a referenced curve to go towards. This doesn't mean it has to be this way, and that's the way it should be, but people need to stop with the, it's got to be that way, or because guess what? We're getting everything to sound the same. The other point I'm going to say about measurements, because I don't want to fail to say this, is it helped me get to where I am today because when I first started getting into audio, heavy into audio like this anyway, I didn't have the ability just to go out and hear whatever I wanted. I still don't. So I either had to just purchase something or, you know, listen to what reviewers were saying. And the graphs helped for that sense. And the fact that at least I knew the measurements definitely help, but these are my personal opinions on it. That doesn't mean I'm never going to reference a graph or anything during a review of mine, because there may be times where I find it necessary to do so. You know, sometimes people got to stay in their lane, right? Well, this is me kind of getting out of my lane for a video to kind of tell you my opinion and uh, get that out there. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I've got more videos coming up. Like I said, I've got the HD 560S that I will be dropping out soon. Then I'm going to do some comparison things. And I've got some pretty exciting things coming down the road that I don't want to talk about yet. But uh, it is something I am looking forward to. So yeah, I mean, you guys can comment down below. I, I, I wouldn't be posting this video if I didn't expect some comments, right? So I am expecting some comments from some people and let's all treat each other, treat each, la 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 la. Let's all try to treat each other with respect. All right, with that, I will see you in the next one.